Hey viewers, let's learn 50 easy guitar songs, all with on-screen chord charts to make it easier to follow along. For the first 10 songs, we'll just be using the E and the A chords, then the next 10 we'll throw in the D chord, then the G chord, then we'll have the C and the A minor, and finally the F, the dreaded F chord, and the D minor chord. So as we go along, they will be getting harder. Now with some of them we'll do the whole song and others we'll just do the easy bits and we're just using open chords for all these songs. So let's make a start. The first two chords we must know are E and A. So we have our E chord, open E string, second fret on the A, second fret on the D, first fret on the G, open B and open E. And that's our E chord and we have our A chord. Don't play the top E string. Open A string, 2nd fret on the D, 2nd on the G, 2nd on the B, and open E string, and that's our A chord there. So let's get into the songs. So the first song we'll do is For What It's Worth by Buffalo Springfield. Just goes E for a bar, A for a bar, E for a bar, A for a bar, and we do that three times, and that's our first verse there. Now the strumming pattern for this song is down, down, up, up, down, up. That's a pretty common strumming pattern there. Down, down, up, up, down, up, and down, down, up, up, down, up. And so down, down, up, up, down, up. And that's our first song, nice and easy. Now these are all going to sound pretty similar because we're just using the E and the A chord. But if you want to, play along with the song as well. So they sound a little bit different there. So now let's try Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. Again, we're just using the E and the A. We have the intro and we're going to play the A for four bars. And then when the singing starts, we do the A for three bars. Then we go to the E for four bars and then back to the A for a bar. And we just keep repeating that does it the whole song. So that's a nice easy one. Again, play along if you need to. So let's try You Never Can Tell by Chuck Berry. This time we're going to use a capo and we're going to place that on the third fret there. So this time we're going to start on the A and we're going to do six bars of A. Then we go to our E, we're going to do eight bars. Then back to A for another two bars there and then we repeat that over and over again. So it's similar to Achy Breaky Heart. Once I've done it once through, I'm actually playing A for eight bars and E for eight bars. And that's the whole song that just keeps repeating that over and over again. So starting on our A and our normal strumming pattern again. So. song we're just going between the A and the E. So let's try Love Me Do by the Beatles. Again we're going to have our capo on the third fret and as I said if you don't have a capo that's fine just do it with our normal E and A chords. So let's try that now starting on our E. <laughs> Do 
four. So that last one we're counting, the first drum is one and then holding two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, and then we're straight back to our E there. So our next song we'll try is three is a magic number by Embrace. This one's a little bit harder because we're just doing a two count on each chord. So we're starting on our E, we're playing two strums. So we're gonna do all down strums for this one. So one, two, then to our A for two down strums. Three, four. So when we're counting, we don't want to count one, two, one, two, one, two. We just count one, two, three, four. So E, one, two, A, three, four. Back to E, one, two, A, three, four. And that's nearly the whole song. There is some slight changes at the end. So let's try that now. getting a little bit harder with quicker changes. So now let's do Silence is Easy by Star Sailor. This time we're going to do this a little bit different. We're going to do all down strums, but we're going to do them on a count of one and two and three and four and. So that way I'm playing eight strums to one bar. So I'm counting one and two and three and four and of what we call eighth notes there. And one and two and three. Then we're going to our A and we're doing exactly the same thing. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and back to A. Three, four, and one, two, three, A. Back to the A. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, back to the A. Back to our A. So now let's try You and I by Ed Sheeran. This will just be the first verse because he changes after that. And this time we're going to have our capo on the second fret. Again, if you don't have the capo, just play it with our normal E and A chord. One, two, three. So that's just a short one, but now we're using two bars, one bar, three bars, one bar, so we have to think a little bit more there. So now let's try Paperback Rider by The Beatles. This time our capo is going to be on the third fret, so we can just move that up there, starting with our intro on the E, four bars. So again, something a little bit different, back to our capo on the third fret, but now we're doing two strums on the E, so just two down strums there, and holding it, instead of playing the whole way through, we're just doing one strum. So let's try this as a C by the Water Boys. This one's gonna be a little bit different, we'll be in three, four timings. This time there's three beats in a bar, so the accent's a little bit different now. So let's play that up to speed now. So with that one, you can make the first drum a little bit louder, and that's our one there. So it'll give you sort of that waltz feel. Let's do Love Comes to Town by U2 and BB King. Now this isn't exactly what they're playing, and we'll just look at the verse, but it's pretty close. It's gonna sound like it if you play along with them. This time it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna to stick to our strumming pattern, but we're gonna do a bar, 
on E and then half a bar and then go to A for half a bar. So we're going to have E. Down, down, up, down, down, up. So we're going to change in the middle of our pattern. So we're going to have our normal pattern for the first bar. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then the second bar we're going to go down, down, up. Then when we go to the A, down, down, up. So we hit the second bar, down, down, up, down, down, up. And again. One more time. Finish your hello. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then you're going to straight back into it there. So before we go on, if you enjoy this lesson, please like and subscribe. Now we're going to throw in the E minor chord, and this is easy if you can already play the E chord and the D chord. So we have our E minor, open E string, second fret on the A, second on the D, open G, B, and E. And that's our E minor. Then we have our D chord. We don't play the top E or the top A. We have the open D string. We have second fret on the G, third fret on the B and second on the E and that's in D chord there. So let's start with All Shook Up by Elvis Presley. We're going to put the capo on the first fret. So our intro is just going to be A and we're going to do that for four bars just with our strumming pattern. So down, down, up, up, down, up. Third bar. Fourth bar. And that's the intro, nice and easy. Then we have our verse. And we're going to do A, so we're staying on the same chord, but we're going to do it for six bars. Then on the seventh bar, we're just going to play it once and hold for another two bars. Let's do that now. Six bars. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we put the last, or well the first drum on the seventh bar, number one beat, and we're going to stop it and hold it. So we're just putting our hand on the strings and count for two bars. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to D, so you've got lots of time to get used to that D there. One bar. E, one bar. And back to A for two bars. And that's our verse there, so let me play that through for you, starting on the A, six bars, stop on the seventh bar. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's our verse and we just play that through all the way again so you've finished on the A for two bars and then we stay on the A and we do that for another six bars and then our stop for two bars. Then the chorus is just D for two bars, A for two bars, D for two bars. And then we go to the E, we just play that once and hold for two bars and stop the strings. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's our chorus there. So let me play that chorus for you now up to speed. Starting on the D for two bars. And then from there we just go back to the verse and we do that exactly the same. Then the chorus again and then the verse again. And then we finish the song with D for a bar. E for a bar. And A for two bars. And you can just do it down up down there to finish. So that last little part now starting on D. So that's the whole song, not too hard, just using the A, D and E chord. And try and remember when you're doing that D chord and the strumming, not to hit the E and the A string. Don't worry too much when you're first starting out. Just be aware that you're doing and try and stop that. So now let's try Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley in the comments.
Okay, so this time we have no capo. We're going to start on the A and we're going to do an up, down, down, and then stop it. So up, down, down. And we do that three times. Up, down, down. Up, down, down. Up, down, down. And then we just go to our E chord and we're just going to do down strums four times. So one, and stop it after each strum down. So, so let me do that for you. That can be a little bit tricky. Then we just go to our A and we're going to do four bars of our A, same strumming pattern as before, down, down, up, up, down, up. Two, three, four. Then we just go to D and we do that for two bars. Back to our A for two bars. E for two bars. And back to A for two bars. And we just keep repeating that over and over again and that's the whole song. We don't do the A, 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 E at the start. So let me play that for you up to speed, not too hard. four bars and we just keep repeating that over and over again. Okay so let's try Bye Bye Love by the Everly Brothers. Now this one we're going to have a two count so when we do the two count we're just going to do a down down up. So down down up and that's a two count or half a bar. Down down up. So we're going to start on the D and we're going to do that for a bar. Again no capo on this one and one bar on the D with our normal pattern. A one bar, D one bar, A for one bar, D for one bar. Now this is what we're going to do, A for a bar and then a half a bar. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. E for half a bar, down, down, up. And then A for a bar. And we're going to do that through two times there. And then to finish that off, we're going to do A for half a bar. So down, down, up. E for half a bar, down, down, up. A for a bar. And then do another bar, but we're just doing the strum and stopping that there and holding it for a bar. So that's a little bit more confusing. We've got these half bars in there with our down, down, up. So let me play that through for you. This is a chorus that starts and just the chorus end with the A, half a bar, E half a bar, A for a bar, and then one strum and hold for a bar. So let's try that now. <laughs> So I only played that chorus through once instead of two times. And then from there we have our verse and we're going to do E for two bars. A for two bars. E for two bars. A for two bars. D for two bars. And then we do E, this time we're going to do it for four bars. Two, three, four. And then A for two bars. And that's our verse, let me play that for you. E. And then 
from there we just go back to the chorus with our chorus end back to the verse again which we just did back to the chorus now this time we don't have the chorus end on it we're going to change it a little bit we're just going to do a for half a bar e for half a bar and then a for a bar and we're going to do that three times and that's how we finish it so let me play that last chorus, I'll do it through once, and then the new chorus end or the outro for you, starting on the D. A, D, A, D, A, D, A, 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 That's a whole song and that one's getting a little bit harder now because we're doing the two counts with the down down up but again just take your time so now let's try throw your arms around me by hunters and collectors this is a great australian song if you don't know it check it out so for our intro we're going to start with a for a bar d for a bar same strumming pattern as before and e for two bars That's our intro, so let's play that now. A, D, E for two bars. And that's your intro. Now the verse, we have A for a bar, D for a bar, A for a bar, and E for a bar. And we do that three times. And then on the fourth time we play A for a bar, D for a bar, A for a bar, D for a bar, and E for a bar. So let me play that verse for you now. I'll just do that first one through once, starting on the A. D. That's our verse from there we go into our chorus and that's just A for a bar, D for a bar, A for a bar, and E for a bar. And then back to A for a bar, D for a bar, and E for two bars. And that's your chorus there, so let me play that through for you, starting on the A. D, A, D, A, D, and E for two bars. And that's your chorus. From there, you just go back to the intro, same as before, verse, same as before, chorus again. Now once you've done the chorus, we're just going to play the A for a bar, D for a bar, and the E for two bars, and we're going to do that right to the end of the song. that A, D, E for two bars. Okay, let's try Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. Again, we're gonna have our capo on the first fret for this one, so we're just moving all our chords up one fret. So we're just gonna start on the A, we're gonna play that once and hold, and we've got that lead intro coming through there. And then we go to the D and we do that for two bars, and this is playing in the lead playing over the top of it. So two bars on the D. Two bars on the A. One bar on the E. One bar on the D. And two bars on the A. So that's before the singing kicks in. So let me play that for you up to speed. Starting on the D, two bars.
then we're going to stay on the A chord and we're going to repeat this whole section right through to the end of the song so we're going to play A for four bars <laughs> D for two bars, A for two bars, E for two bars, and A for two bars. And then we just go back to the A for four bars again and that repeats right to the end of the song. So let me play that part for you up to speed with our standard strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up. Again, if it's going too fast, just slow it right down and get used to those changes. D, two bars. A, two bars. A, two bars. going all the way through to the end of the song. So now let's try Wild Thing by the Trogs. Now we're just going to do all down strums with this one. So it can be really tricky when you're first starting out to change your chords to get the strumming pattern they're using, but it'll sound like the song anyway. So we're going to start on the A and do two down strums. D two down strums and they're quicker. And then the E, we're going to do four down strums and then another two. There's a stop after that four. So let me play that up to speed for you. And that's the intro to the song. Now we go to the verse, and we're going to look at the intro and the verse. This it's different chords as it moves on. So we have A, and we do this the same. Two dance drums. D, two dance drums. E, two dance drums. And D, two dance drums. And we do that three times. Now each time we do the D, the down strums are a little bit quicker. So I'll do that slowly first. And again. And up to speed, starting on the A. we've done that three times we go back to the A again D and the E the same we did in the intro and that gives you the intro and the verse let me just play the verse a couple of times and then that last part there Let's have a look at I'm a Believer by the Monkeys. So with this song, they are in a different key, but we've just made it a little bit easier so we can just use the E, A and D chords. So for our intro, we're going to do A for a bar. E for a bar. And A for two bars. And we do that through two times. Let's try that up to speed. A, E. Then we go to the D, one bar. A for one bar. D for one bar. A for one bar. D for one bar. A for one bar. And then E for a bar. And then the second bar, the strum and stop for a bar there. So let me play that for you now, starting on the D. D, A, D, A, D, A, and E. And then for our chorus, we're going to do our two count strumming pattern like we did in our other song, down, down, up. So we're going to start A, down, down, up, D, down, down, up, 
and then A for a bar. Down, down, up, down. So let's do that. We do that four times. Let me do it slowly for you. And up to speed. And then it does change after that a little bit. So that gives you the intro, the verses, and the choruses to that song. Now let's have a look at what I like about you. We're gonna have the capo on the first fret, and we're gonna leave out the intro here. And we're just gonna do our half counts again, down, down, up, or our half bars there. So starting on the E, down, down, A, down, down, D, down, down, back to A. And it does that 22 times. Now it does actually skip a little bit between the D and the A. For practice, just get used to doing the down, down, up on each chord. So let's do that slowly, E. It's a hard one because they're changing the chords fast there again and it's all just out down down up now let's try I still haven't found what I'm looking for by you two so this time we're going to have the capo on the fourth fret so again we play our chords exactly the same just pretend that the capo is like the nut of the guitar there so our A chord will actually be up on the sixth fret there instead of back on the second fret there now we're also going to do this one with all down strums and we're going to count it one and two and three and four and and that'll be one bar. All down strums. Now because it's going quite quick you don't have to hit all the strings, you can just hit sort of the A to the B string if you like. So we're going to have our intro and we're going to do four bars of A all with our down strums counting. Then for our verse we're going to do another four bars of A. Then we're going to do two bars of D. Back to A, two bars. And that's our verse, we do that through two times. Let me play that once for you, starting on the A. That's our verse, then for our chorus we go E, one bar, D, one bar, and A, two bars. And we do that twice, let me run through that chorus just for you quickly now, starting on the E. back to the verse, back to the chorus, back to the verse, back to the chorus. So remember this one, all down strums, one and two and three and four and, and that's one bar. Well, let's do second hand news by Fleetwood Mac, where you're gonna do the dow, dow, dow part. So we're gonna start on the A, but this time our strumming pattern's gonna change. We're gonna do a down, 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 down. It's quite quick the way they're doing this. That'll be one bar, so. So we do A for one bar, D for one bar, A for one bar. Now we're gonna do E for half a bar, so just do that as half as long. So down, 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 
A for half a bar, down, 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 down. And we do that through two times. So we play that up to speed for you. This could be a little tricky. Start slow with the strumming pattern if you need to. harder now we've got to go quite fast with our right hand or our strumming hand there now for the next group of songs we'll throw in the G chord and there's two different ways we can do this and they're both correct so we have third fret on the E string second fret on the A string open D G and B and third fret on the E string so that's one way of playing it and that's normally the beginners way if you want to make it a little bit harder we have exactly the same top, 3rd fret on the E, 2nd on the A, open D and G, this time 3rd fret on the B and 3rd fret on the E. So the only difference is that 3rd fret on the B there. And they're both correct, they're both G, so you can use either one there. So the first one we'll try is Mad World by Gary Jules. We're going to put our capo on the first fret. So that just means we play our chords exactly the same, but we're going to move them all up a fret. And we're going to do this all with down strums. So for our intro, we're going to start on our E minor, four down strums. Then we go to our A, and we do four down strums there. And remember when we play the A, we don't want to play the top E string. And we just do that two times and that's our intro. So E to A minor is a fairly easy change and we've done that before. So starting on our E, we'll play the intro, four down strums on the E minor, four on the A, and then back to E minor and A again, and that's our intro. To our A, E minor. That's our intro there. For our verse, we're going to do E minor for a bar, so four down strums again. Now we're going to our G, so make sure you put that on the same way every single time. One bar, four down strums. Then to our D, four down strums again, one bar. Remember with our D, don't play the E and the A string. And then to A, one bar, four down strum. And that's our verse, we do that four times. So let's do that a couple of times, starting on the E minor. our verse there so it's pretty easy just four times through that chord progression then we go to our chorus and that's the same as the intro just E minor for one bar four down strums to our A one bar four down strums and do that six times and that's our chorus let's do that a couple of times Now I should also mention, if you're doing G the second way we did it, with our third and fourth finger on the bottom, B and E string, to get to the D, you don't have to lift your third finger up, you can leave it down and we make the D shape there. So from G to D, I leave my third finger down, take my little finger off, and place my first and second on the D shape there. So it's a nice easy change if you're doing the G the second way. If you're doing it the first way, we've just got to jump a little bit more there. So let me play the verse a couple of times into the chorus a couple of times there for you. Starting on E minor. E minor. G. And 
that's all the chord progressions in the song. After our chorus, we go back to the verse and we do that exactly the same four more times. Then we go to the chorus, our E minor to A. This time we do it eight times. And then we just end on the E minor. So coming from the A, from our last chorus, which we do eight times. Two, three, four, and end on E minor, just one down strong there. So let's try Old Time Rock and Roll by Bob Seger. This time we've got our capo on the fourth fret. And I should also mention, if you don't have a capo, that's okay. You can just play them all in the first position there without the capo. Just won't sound the same as the song. So this time we're going to use our strumming pattern and we're going to start on the D and we're going to do two bars. So we're going to do our strumming pattern two times. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then we go to the G and we do the same thing two bars. And then to A, two bars there. Then we go back to D and we're only going to do one bar, so just once through our strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And then back to A, one bar there. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And that's the whole song, it just keeps repeating that over and over again. the whole song just keep repeating that chord progression throughout. Okay so this next one's going to be High and Dry by Radiohead, this time the capo on the second fret. Now we're going to change the strumming pattern here, now this is probably the second most common strumming pattern you're going to see. So hop on the E and we're going to do a down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. So a little bit more confusing and we've got what they call a ghost strum in there. So that's when we're moving but we're not actually hitting the strings and we'll do that after the first down and it keeps us in time. When we're strumming we actually want our hand or our arm to be moving the whole time and it's just when we hit the strings and when we don't. So you'll see I'll exaggerate it there. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. And again I'll exaggerate it when I'm not playing. Down, go strum, down. keeps our timing in check there. So let's jump into the song. The intro is just going to be E for one bar and that's our strumming pattern. G for one bar. D for two bars so we do the strumming pattern two times. For our intro, we just do that through six times. So let's give that a go up to speed, starting on the E. e. six times and that's our intro and our verse. Then for our chorus, the chord progression stays the same. We're still going to do E for a bar, G for a bar, D for two bars, back to E for a bar, This time we're just going to play the G once and count one bar. So one, two, three, four, and then back to our D there. So one, two, three, four, and D. So let me 
just play that second part of the chorus starting on the E. Two, three, four, back to the D. Then after that it just keeps repeating. We do the verse five times, which is the same chord progression, E, G, D. Back to the chorus, but this time we don't put the gap on that G, so we keep playing right through the G, so we're just continuing with E, G and D for two bars. Back to the verse for four, and back to the chorus for three, which again doesn't have that stop on the G. So it's only that first chorus that we do that stop on the G and hold for a bar there, and that's the whole song, the chord progression stays the same right throughout. So the next one we'll try is Mull of Kintyne by Paul McCartney. Now this one's in 3-4 timing, so it means we're counting 3 in the bar instead of 4. So just 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. It's going to feel more like a waltz with 3-4 timing. So our strumming pattern is going to change a little bit here. If we hop on our A chord, we're just going to do down, up, down, up, down, and that's one bar. That's our strumming pattern we're using. So our down, up, down, up, down is one bar there. So we just start on A for the intro and we do four bars there. So one, two, three, four. And that's our intro. Then we stay on the A and we do another two bars and this is our verse. Then we go to D and we do two bars there. And then we repeat that. We do A for another two bars, D for another two bars. D. Then we go back to A and this time we're going to do four bars again there. We stay on the A and do another four bars. One, two, three, four. Go to the D and we do two bars there. Back to A and this time we're going to do six bars. So one, two, three, four, D for two bars, then we're going to go to E for one bar, then we're going to finish on the A, we're just going to strum once and hold for two bars, so we're only counting to three this time, so one, two, three, one, two, three, then we stay on the A, do another two bars, D another two bars. Do that again, A for two bars, D for two bars, then we go back to A and we're going to do six bars again here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's our first verse here and our chorus. And then for our instrumental, this is with the bagpipes are playing, we're going to dump, jump to the D there, two bars. Now we're throwing in our G, our new chord, two bars. And do that again, D two bars. And G two bars. Then we go to D and we do four bars there. So one, two, three, four. Now stay on the D and do another four bars. Two, three, four. To G, two bars there. Back to D and we're going to do six bars again there. Then we go 
back to our G, another two bars. Now to A for a bar. And then we're gonna do the D, just one strum, two bars there. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's our instrumental. And then we go to our chorus again from there. So D, two bars. G, two bars. D, two bars. G, two bars. D, two bars. Now stay on the D, do another two bars. And then go to our A, and we're gonna do two bars there. And we repeat that whole section two times. Let me just play that up to speed for you. This is our chorus here. There, we're going to stay on our A again, do another four bars. One, two, three, four. To D for two bars. A for six bars. One, two, three, four, five, six. D for two bars. E for one bar, then finish on our A, one strum, two bars. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Then we just go back to A again, another two bars. D, two bars. And repeat that, A again, two bars. D for two bars. Then we go back to A and we do four bars there. Two, three, four. Now we go to D to finish it off, two bars. Our new G, two bars. Do D again, another two bars. G, two bars. D, four bars. Three, four. Stay on the D, do another two bars. To A, two bars. Then go back to D, two more bars. And finish on A for two bars. So this time we'll try our song by Taylor Swift and we're just going to do all down strums this time because it's changing quite fast. We're only doing half a bar on each chord. So we're going to start on the D, two down strums. E minor, two down strums. G, two down strums. And to A, two down strums. And we do that five times and that's our intro and our verse. Let me play that for you. Again, D, E minor, G. Now this last A, we're just gonna play once and hold for a bar. So one, two, three, four. So we do D, E minor, G, A five times, and then we do it again, but the last A we hold for one bar. Then for our chorus, we just do D again, half a bar, E minor, G, same chord progression, A. And we do that three times. D, E minor, G, and A. One more time. D, E minor, G, and A. Then 
we go to G and we do this for a bar, so you can just do four down strums there. One, two, three, four. A, one bar. One, two, three, four. E minor, one bar. And G, just strum once and let it hold for a bar. One, two, three, four. And that's our chorus. From there, we go back to our chord progression again. D half a bar, E minor half a bar, G, and A. And we do that six times, and that's again our intro and our verse. We go back to the chorus. We do that exactly the same as we just did it. And then to finish it off, we just do our chord progression again. D, half a bar, E minor, G, and A. Back to D again, E minor, G. Now this time do the A and for one bar. So one, two, three, four. E minor for one bar. One, two, three, four. G for one bar. D half a bar, A half a bar, E minor for a bar, and G for a bar. And then from there we just go back to the chorus again, and then we just finish with our chord progression. D, E minor, G, A, each for half a bar, which we do five times. Let's play that a couple of times to finish that off. E minor. that five times to finish the song off so not too hard we're changing a little bit quicker now but again just go slowly and build your speed up so the next one we'll try is breakfast at tiffany's this is by deep blue something now this one's going really fast but we'll slow it down and when they're playing the d they're actually doing a d sus two and a d sus four but we're going to leave that out it'll pretty much sound the same anyway so we're going to start on the d and we're going to do a bar of that there the strumming pattern we're going to use is down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. So that's for one bar. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. So up to speed. So a little bit confusing to start off slowly. Then we're going to do the G and we're going to change strumming patterns here. We're going to do a down, down, up, up. And that's all we're doing. And then we're going to the A, and we're going to do a down, down, up, up, down, down, up. So let me go through that chord progression slowly with the strumming pattern, because it is a little confusing, starting on the D. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. So a lot going on there. Let me do it up to speed so you can hear how it's going to sound. So just start off slowly and doing that. And that's a chord progression we're using. D with our strumming pattern, G for half a bar, A for half a bar, and we do that 10 times and that's our verse. And then for our chorus, it's nearly the same. We're just starting the D, same strumming pattern. This time we're going for A, same strumming pattern, half a bar. And then G, same strumming pattern as the A that we did in the verses. And we do that four times. So let's do that slowly first. Let's try the chorus up to speed. It does that through four times. So really take your time with that. Just get the strumming pattern right. 
put it to a metronome if you need to and slowly build up your speed because it is quite a fast pattern and it's a little confusing the way they do it as well. And they're just the two parts to the song. From there we go back to the verse and we do that 10 times. Back to the chorus, we do four times again. Verse another eight times. Chorus again. Verse for four times. Chorus eight times. And then finish with the verse four times there. So the next one we'll do is Twist and Shout by the Beatles. Now this time we're gonna just be doing half bars on the D and a half bar on the G and then a full bar on the A and we're gonna do that 22 times, so lots of times through there. So the D is just gonna be a down, down, up. The G is gonna be the same, down, down, up. Then we go to the A and we do our normal strumming pattern there. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And let's try that up to speed. Get to our R's, our build up, we're just going to stay on A and do that for six bars with our strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up, and six bars there. So. twist and shout, that's getting a little bit harder now because we're only doing half a bar on the D and half a bar on the G so we have to change really fast. So let's do Bad Moon Rising by Credence Clearwater. We're going to change the strumming pattern a little bit from what they're doing just to keep it easy because we're only practicing getting to that new chord, that G. So on a full bar we're going to start on our D and we just do our normal strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Then we go to A and we do half a bar so just down, down, up. And then G half a bar, down, down, up. So whenever we're doing half a bar, down, down, up, a full bar is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. So starting on our D for one bar. So down, down, up, up, down, up. A half a bar, down, down, up. G half a bar, down, down, up. And then go back to D and we do two bars there with our strumming pattern. Down, down, up. And that's our intro and our verse, and we do that through five times. And that's our verse. For our chorus, we go back to the G, and we do that for two bars. D for two bars, A for one bar, G for one bar, and D for two bars. two parts we use the whole song. From there we just go back to the verse, we do that four times, back into the chorus again, we do that exactly the same, and then for our break we're going to do the verse two more times, chorus once, then we go back to the verse, we do that four times, and then finish with the chorus, we do that for two times there. So let's do another Beatles one, let's do Get Back. Again, we've done a simplified version of this. They're using some A7 chords there as well, but we're just going to keep it in, in A. So this time we're going to start on the A. We're going to keep our strumming pattern the same, and we're going to do three bars. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now the next one we're only going to do half a bar, and we're going to go down, down, up. Then we're going to go to the G, and we're just going to do a down. And then the D, we're going to do a D up. And then 
from there we're going back to A, and this is our verse, we're going to do this through for two bars. Then we're going to do D for a bar, back to A for a bar. And we're going to do that through two times, so starting on our A two bars. And then for our first chorus, we're going to go to the A, or stay on the A to another two bars. D for one bar. And then we're going to do our A, G, D like we did before. So the A, down, down, up, G for one, D for one, and we do that two times, and that's our little break there. So we do that for you. from there we're doing our second chorus and we're going to do that the same starting on our A, two bars, D, one bar, our A, half a bar, and then to our G, D again, one strum on each, then go back to the A, and this time we're going to do this for three bars there. So And then we're just going to finish on the D and we're going to hold it for two bars, so one strum. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And there are all the parts. From there we go back to the verse and we do that four times. Back to our first chorus here, we do that once. We do our break again, which is just our A for two bars, D for one bar, A for half a bar, G and D for one strum each. Then go to the second chorus, which is the one we just did. Go to the break again, and then go to the chorus to finish, or the second chorus here. So let's try Do You by ELO. We're just going to do the start part for this. It's something a little bit different again. We're going to start on the D. We're just going to do one down strum, and it's only half a bar. So one, two. Then we're going to jump on the A, and we're just going to do a down. And then to the G. The first three times through, we're just going to do it one strum and hold for a bar. So one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now the next time through, we're just going to do the same again. D, A, with a down up, and then our G, we're going to do with our down, down, up, up, down, up. So we just do that last part on the G for four bars. So from the A, from the D, sorry. And then from there, we're just keeping the same chord progression, but now we're gonna put in the strumming pattern. So we're gonna start on the D, down, down, up. A, down, down, up, and G. Down, down, up. So there's 10 songs to practice your G chord. So now we have E minor, E, A, D, and G with different strumming patterns. Now for the next 10 songs, we'll throw in the A minor and the C chord. So we have A minor, don't play the top E string, open A, second fret on the D, second on the G, first on the B, and open E, and that's our A minor. And then we have C, third fret on, the A, don't play the top E. Second on the D, open G. First on the B and open E there, and that's our C chord. So again, these are simplified versions of the song. So let's try Stand By Me by Benny King. This time we're gonna have a capo on the second fret, and as usually we don't have a capo, that's fine. You can just play them in the standard position. So we're gonna start on our G chord, which we did last part, and we're gonna do two bars there. Just our down, down, up, up, down, up, our strumming pattern that we've done there. So down, up, up, down, up, and do that again. 
and then two bars on E minor, exactly the same strumming pattern. Then go to your C, so we've got our new chord now, and we're just doing one bar, so just down, down, up, up, down, up, to our D for one bar, and back to our G. Now, as we spoke about in the previous lesson, you can use either G there, whatever feels most comfortable for you, and do another two bars to finish that off. And then we just go back to the start and do G for another two bars. So at the end, we're actually doing G for four bars there. And that's the whole song. It just keeps repeating that over and over again, that chord progression. and our choruses just keep playing that right throughout the whole song. So let's try another. So let's do Last Kiss by Pearl Jam. Now again, we're just gonna use that same strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up, and that's one bar. And this chord progression is exactly the same as the one we just did with Stand By Me, except this time we're doing G for a bar, E minor for a bar, C for a bar, and D for a bar. And we're gonna call that part one, so let me play that for you. E minor, C, and D. And again, G, E minor, C, and D. Now don't worry, it's gonna take you a while to get that C right, so if you've got a gap there, that's okay. Now part two is exactly the same, except we're going to do G at the end. So we've got G for a bar, E minor for a bar, C for a bar, D for a bar, and then G for two bars. And that's part two. So let me play that now for you up to speed. E minor. And that's the two parts to the whole song. From there we just go back to part one and we do that three times and then go to part two, then part one, then part two, and then we go back to part one four times. So when we're repeating the parts, that's the verses. Then we go back to part two, part one, part two, part one three times, and then finish on part two, and that's your chorus here at the end. And that's all the parts of the song. So exactly the same chord progressions as Stand By Me, except we're only doing one bar with each chord there, except that last G. So it's another fairly easy one to get you going. Now let's do another. Okay, let's try Poker Face by Lady Gaga. We're just gonna have a look at the chorus for this one. In the verses, they're basically just using one and two chords there. So our chorus, we're gonna have our capo on the fourth fret this time and do our normal down, down, up, up, down, up strumming pattern. We're going to start on E minor, one bar, down, down, up, up, down, up, to our new C chord, one bar, G for one bar, and D for one bar. And we just do that two times, and that's the chorus. Let me chorus there to poker face. So let's try another. So now let's do Teardrops on My Guitar by Taylor Swift. This time we've got the capo on the third fret and our intro and our verse is going to be the same chord progression we've used before. G for a bar, E minor for a bar, C for a bar, then D for a bar and we do that three times. So let's try that slowly starting on the G. Down, up, up, down, up. So same strumming pattern. E minor. 
C, one bar. And D for one bar. And we do that three times. Let me do that for you. B minor. three times and then our pre-chorus we're just going to go to E minor one bar same strumming pattern C for one bar same strumming pattern G for one bar and then to D for one bar so let's just play that up to speed now And that's our pre-chorus from there we go back to our verse and we only do it two times then our pre-chorus and then for our chorus the chords change a little bit again we're going to start on the G this time one bar D for one bar E minor for one bar and C for one bar Drumming pattern stays the same again, and we do that through two times. Let me just play that for you now. D, E minor, C. And they're all the different parts. Again, we're just using G, E minor, C, D, and putting them in a different order. So from our chorus, we just go back to the verse, and we do that two times. Then to the pre-chorus, to the chorus two times, Back to the verse, which we do once. Back to the pre-chorus, the chorus three times, and then finish on the verse, just play that through once. And that's the whole song there. So let's try knocking on heaven's door. There's lots of different versions of this. This is a Bob Dylan version. We're gonna start on the G, and we're gonna do that for half a bar, but we're gonna do a bit of a different strumming pattern here. We're gonna do the down, 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 up, like we've done before, but we're putting that ghost strum in, like we spoke about in the previous part. So we've got down, ghost drum, down, down, up. And then to the D, and we do exactly the same thing. Down, 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 up. Now to our new one, A minor, remember exactly the same as E, but down a string, and our strumming pattern, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. So we've got that there for one bar. Then we go back to the G, and we do exactly the same, G, down, down, D, down, 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 up, and then to C, our other new chord, and the same strumming pattern as the A minor. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And that's the whole song, it just keeps repeating that all the way through. So let's try that up to speed. D, A minor. Let's try Clocks by Coldplay. So this time we're going to have the capo on the first fret. Again, if you don't have a capo, that's okay. Just play it as normal. And we're going to do all down strums. So what we're doing is eighth notes. So we're playing eight counts or eight down strums for each bar. So we're going to start on the D. And we're going to do one bar. So eight down strums. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we go to A minor. And we're going to do two bars, so we're going to end up doing 16 down strums here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then to E minor, one bar again, all down strums, so a count of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's the whole song, it just keeps repeating that over and over again. The whole song it just keeps repeating okay so let's do big girls by fergie we're just going to look at the chorus for this one 
Again, our strumming pattern is going to be exactly the same, down, down, up, up, down, up. And this time we're going to start on our C and we're going to do one bass with our strumming pattern. To G, one bar, same again. And then D, we're going to do two bars there, same strumming pattern, just do it two times. Back to C, our new chord, one bar. G, one bar. Now this time just do D for a bar. Then we go to E minor for a bar. C for a bar. G for a bar. And D for one bar. And then do that again. E minor for a bar. C for a bar. G for a bar and D for a bar. So let's give a go to that up to speed starting on the C for one bar. C, G, D for two bars. C, G, D for one bar. Our chorus. Let's try another. Let's do a brown eyed girl by Van Morrison. Again, we're just going to start on our G, do that for a bar, same strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up. So you can see how common this pattern is. To our C for a bar, to our G for a bar, and our D for a bar. We do that four times and that's the verse. Let me do that up to speed for you. C, G, D. And again, G, C, G, and D. And that through four times. And from there we just go to C for one bar. D for a bar. G for a bar. E minor for a bar, C for a bar, D for a bar, G for a bar, and D for a bar. Now they're using a D7 in parts of this as well, but we're just keeping it easy, just learning our new chords. So let me just play that part for you, starting on the C for a bar, D for a bar. From there we just go back to our verse and we do that through four times again. Now the second chorus, this one here is going to change a little bit. We're going to start on the C, we're going to do a bar there. The D we're going to do a bar. The G we're going to do a bar. E minor for a bar. C for a bar. D for a bar. G for a bar. So that's all the same. Now this time we're going to do D and we're going to do that for four bars. So two, three, four. So let me play that part for you, starting on the C for a bar. D. Going back to our G for one bar, C for one bar, G for one bar, D for one bar, G for one bar, C for one bar, G for one bar, 
D for one bar. And to finish that section off, we just do G for two bars. And then we have a break for six bars. We don't play anything. So let me just play that last part for you, starting on the G for a bar. C, G, D. strum for those counts see. Then we go back to the verse, we do that four times, we go back to the second chorus, we play that exactly the same, and then we finish with that verse and we just keep playing that right through to the end. So let's do Save Tonight by Eagle Eye Cherry. This time we're going to have our capo up on the fifth fret, our chord's going to be E minor, C, G and D, and it's just going to repeat those through the whole song. Now we've changed the strumming pattern to make it a little bit easier. So start on your E minor, we're just going to do down, 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 up. So down, 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 But it is going really fast. So. Then we do C, same strumming pattern. Down, 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 up. G, same strumming pattern. And then D, same strumming pattern. And we just keep repeating that through the whole song. Playing it. They're not using a capo there, but we're using the capo just so we can keep the chords nice and simple there. Try I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. So this time we're going to start on the G, but the strumming pattern we're going to use is a mute, mute, and then a down, up. And on the mutes, we're going to sort of do a down, up there. Now you don't have to hit all the strings here. We're going to go down, up, down, up, and that's going to be our mute. So hit down and then come up and then do a down, up on the chord. So mute, mute. When I'm doing the mute, I'm holding my hands on the strings, and the up's just hitting a couple of strings there. It's just getting us a percussive sound. So, mute, 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 mute. And one bar is four times there. So, if we start on our G. To D, same thing. minor, same thing again, to our C, same again, so that pattern can be quite tricky, again just go slowly, build your speed up with it, you start to get the flow of it once you've done it a couple of times, it's not that hard, so let me play that chord progression through for you, this is the verses and the choruses. seven times and that's the intro of your verse and your chorus and then we finish on an A7 so take your A chord and just take your finger off so we're playing the open A string second fret on the D string we're going to play an open G string this time second fret on the B string and open E string and that's an A7 and we just strum that down and hold for one bar so I'll just play that line and finish on the G7 The next 10 songs we'll put in the F and the D minor. So we have F and D minor there. So for our F, don't play the top E or A. We have third fret on the D string, second fret on the G, and first fret on the B and the E. We're barring that there, and that's our F chord. Then we have D minor, don't play the E in the A string. We have the open D. 
second fret on the G, third fret on the B, and first fret on the E there, and that's our D minor chord. So we're going to start with with or without you by U2, and we're going to have our capo on the second fret. If you don't have a capo, just play the chords as normal. So we're going to have C for a bar, and we're just using our strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. To G for a bar, same again. Down, down, up, up, down, up. A minor for a bar. And our new one, F for a bar. And try not to play the E and the A string when we're playing the F chord there. And that's nearly the whole song. It does that through 24 times. Then after the 24th time, we just go to the C and we play 12 bars of the C. So just down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And do that 12 times. And then we just go back to that same chord progression. C, G, A minor and F. So let's give that a go, not too hard. The F chord will be tricky when you first start out. So starting on the C, one bar. that's nearly the whole song so it's a pretty easy one to get us started so now let's try runaway train by soul asylum again our strumming pattern is going to be exactly the same down down up up down up and for our intro we're just going to play c for four bars down down up down up down up down up down up down up and again and then from there we go into our verse and it's going to be c for two bars so down down E minor for two bars. A minor for two bars. And G for two bars. And that's our verse. So they're all the old chords we've used before. So let me play that through for you. We'll just do it through once. It does it through two times in the song. So starting on the C. E minor. there we have our pre-chorus, now we're going to jump to our F here, one bar, G for one bar, C for one bar, A minor for one bar, back to our F again, one bar, E minor one bar, and G for two bars. So that's our pre-chorus. Now I'm going through this pretty fast. It's best just to take notes and go at your own speed there. So let me play that pre-chorus for you, starting on the F for one bar. G, C, A minor, F, E minor, and G for two bars. From that we have our first chorus and it's basically the same as the intro. We have our C for two bars, our E minor for two bars, our A minor for two bars, then to finish off this first chorus we've got to play G for three bars and on the fourth bar just do one strum and hold. So we have down, down. play that first chorus through for you starting on the C. E minor. A minor. G. And that's our 
first chorus from there, we just go back to our verse and we do it two times through like we did the first time. Back to our pre-chorus and that's exactly the same with our new F chord. Then we have our second chorus and that's basically going to be nearly exactly the same as our first chorus except we're only doing the G for two bars and then repeating it all again. And we do that through two times from there. We go back to the pre-chorus this time and we play that through once. And then we're going back to the verse again, but we're only strumming once on each chord. So we're going to start on the C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. E minor the same. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A minor the same. Three, four. One, two, three, four. And then on the G, we're going to hold for one bar and then start the strumming pattern for the second bar. So one, two, three, four. And that's after the pre-chorus there. And then we're just going back to the chorus and we play that through four times. The same as the second chorus, we just keep playing through and we just end on our C there. So the next one we'll try is She Will Be Loved by Maroon 5. Now this time we're gonna have a bit of a different strumming pattern for our intro and our verses. We're gonna start on the A minor and we're gonna do a down, down, up, up, stop. So on the stop, I'm just putting my hand on the strings, but I'm using sort of a downward motion because it feels like a down strum. So down, down, up, up, stop. So I'm not dragging my pick, I'm not even touching the strings with my pick, I'm just hitting it down with my hand and stopping it. Then we go to the G and we're gonna do up, up, stop, up, up, down, up. So let me do that slowly for you. But these are all simplified versions of the song. I know that's not that simple when you first start. So let me play that up to speed for you. That's the intro in the verse, and it does that through 10 times. So. going to our first chorus we're going to have C for a bar and this time we're just going back to our normal down down up up down up G for a bar A minor for a bar back to G for a bar C for a bar G for a bar A minor for a bar this time go to F for a bar. Back to C for a bar. G for a bar. A minor for a bar. Then we're gonna do F for a bar and then one strum for the second bar and hold. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's our first chorus, let me play that for you. back to our verse, so our A minor and G, but this time we do it through eight times. And then our second chorus changes a little bit. We're gonna have the C for one bar, G for one bar, A minor for a bar, G for a bar. Now this next part we're gonna play three times. So C for a bar, G for a bar, a minor for a bar and F for a bar and we do that through three times let me just play that through for you once here starting on the C
Taiwan. And then and do that last line through one more time there. From our second chorus, we go into our verse again, but we only play that through four times, so our A minor and our G. And then we finish that off with an F, and we're just gonna hold that for two bars. So one strum, so we've come from the A minor, down, down, up, up, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Go back to your verse for two bars, and then we have our third chorus after that. So it's just gonna be C for a bar again, G for a bar, a minor for a bar, G for a bar, C for a bar, G for a bar, A minor for a bar, and then F for a bar. And we keep playing that chord progression to the end. So C, G, A minor, G, C, G, A minor, F, and just keep repeating that and finish on the C chord. So let's try I Will Survive. This one, we're gonna throw in a new chord. We're gonna have an E sus4. Now it's pretty easy. Play your A chord and just put it all up a string and that's an E sus4 chord. So we've got the open E string. We've got the second fret on the A, second fret on the D, second fret on the G, open B and open E. So an E sus4, exactly the same as our A chord, but just up a string. So the very start of the song, we're just going to have an E chord. We're just going to strum it once. This is where our piano's playing and hold for two bars. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now the whole song just keeps repeating this chord progression after that. We have A minor for a bar and just our normal strumming pattern. Then we have D minor. G for a bar. C for a bar. We have F for a bar. D minor for a bar. Our new E sus4. And straight to E. So just a bar on each, and it does that through the whole song. It just keeps repeating that chord progression. There's a part where the song slows down, and you can just strum once on each chord there and hold for a bar. So F, D minor, E sus4, E. And you can also give that a bit of a funk groove if you want there. Just to make it a little bit more disco, we'll just keep it as a nice easy down, down, up, up, down, which will work when you're playing with the song. So let's give that a go starting with our A minor. D minor. Let's try Pictures of You by The Last Good Night. Again, this time we've got our capo on the second fret and we're just gonna use our strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up for this as well. Now remember, these are simplified versions of the song. It's just getting used to changing to those new chords, D minor and the F. So we're gonna start on our C and we're gonna do that for two bars. A minor for a bar. F for one bar. And that's our intro and our verse, and we do that three times. Let's give that a go. A minor for a bar. F. C. Two bars. A minor. And F. And for our intro and our verse, we do that three times. Then we have our chorus. We have C for a bar. G for a bar. A minor for a bar, and F for a bar, and we do that through two times, and then we just end this time on the A minor, and we're going to hold that for two bars, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
So we play the chorus through for you, starting on the C. G. We just go back to the verse again. This time we do it through two times. Do the chorus again through two times, but don't finish on that A minor. We're going from the F, and then we go into our bridge. This time we're going to start on the D minor for our bridge. Do that for a bar. A minor, we're doing this for half a bar, so we're just doing it down, down, up. G half a bar, down, down, up. F a bar, down, down. C half a bar down, down, up. G half a bar down, down, up. And we do that through two times, and that's the bridge. C the G, again B minor, A minor G, F, C G. And that's our bridge. From there, we just go back to our verse. We do it through two more times. And then we go to our chorus and we just keep playing that till the end. And that's the whole song. So that's a good one again. We've got the F in our verses and our choruses. And then our bridge, we've got the D minor and the F. Now let's do Need You Now by Lady Antebella. This time we've got our capo on the fourth fret. And we're going to start on the F chord this time. Same strumming pattern, down, down, up up, down, up, and the F for two bars. A minor for two bars. And we repeat that through five times, and that's the intro and the first verse. And once we've done that through five times, we go back to the F for one bar. And then we just strum the F and hold for a bar. Two, three, four. And that's our intro and our verse. Let me play that a couple of times through for you, starting on the F for two bars. A minor. F again. A minor. And then we have to finish it off. Two, three, four. Then for our chorus, we just jump to C for two bars. E minor for two bars. And we do that through two times, and then we do to the F for two bars, and then the last bar, for the third bar, we strum once and hold. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's our chorus, let me play that through for you, not too hard, C to E minor. first chorus. From there we go back to our verse, from our F to our A minor, we do that four times this time. And then the second chorus is going to change a little bit. It's just the F, we're not going to hold that last and the third bar, we're just going to keep playing. So we have our C minor for a bar, sorry, C for a bar, two bars there. our second chorus there. From there we're going into the bridge. Now this is going to be a little bit confusing the way they do the strumming pattern. It's going to be A minor, down, down, up, to G, up. So we're going to go down, down, up, to C, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So let me do that part for you slowly. Then we go to the F for a bar, 
G for a bar. And we do that through two times. Let me do that for you up to speed. our bridge from there we just go back to our F and we're just going to hold that for two bars two three four one two three four and then the same on our A minor two three four one two three four and then we're just going to finish with the chorus but we're just going to play the C for two bars E minor for two bars and we're just going to keep repeating that over and over again so let's do hallelujah this is a shrek version because it's a little bit easier than the original now we're just going to do all down strums with this we can arpeggio pick it if you want to when you get a little bit better at changing the chords so for our intro we're just going to do C and we're going to do half a bar so we're just doing two down strums to A minor, exactly the same. Back to C, and A minor. And that's our intro there, so let's give that a go. A minor, C, A minor. If you want to give the arpeggio picking a go, for that intro we're going to play the root note of the chord for C. It's going to be the A string third fret, and then you can just play the G, B, and E, back to B, back to G. So I could go and do that again. Then it's exactly the same for A minor. if you want I suggest you get the chords down first and then try that so our intro C for half a bar A minor for half a bar and we do that two times for our verse we have C half a bar A minor half a bar and then again C A minor then we have F for half a bar G for half a bar C for half a bar G for half a bar then we're going to do C again, half a bar. This is where it changes a little bit. We're going to do F, but just one strum. G, one strum. So tricky part, quick changes there. Back to A minor, half a bar again. F, half a bar. G, half a bar. E, half a bar. And then A minor, four down strums there. So for a bar. So let me do that for you. That's a little bit tricky because we're now jumping quick between the F and the G. So starting on the C, A minor, C, A minor, F, G, C, G, C, F, G. our verse from there we go into our chorus and it's just F for a full bar so one two three four A minor for a bar two three four F for a bar two three four C for half a bar G for half a bar C for half a bar and G for half a bar and that's a chorus let's do that now starting on the F Just go back to the verse, do that the same, chorus the same, do the verse again, chorus again, verse again. Then the last chorus changes a little bit. We're going to have F for a bar, A minor for a bar, so the same. F for a bar, C for half a bar, so two down strums, G. Let me repeat that F, one bar, A minor. Repeating that till the end there. 
So that's not too hard. We've only got the F in there. The tricky part is doing the C for two, F for one, and G, and then straight to the A minor. So that may take a little bit to get that, especially with that F chord. We know that's hard to do it first. So let's try another. So let's do Fortunate Sun by Creedence Clearwater Revival. This time we're going to start on our G chord, but we're just going to do palm muting. So I'm not going to go into how to palm mute here. We can do that in a later lesson. So what we're basically doing, we'll do a quick one of it. We're just going to play the top two strings, and I'm just lightly putting the side of my hand here on those strings, and we want it right back on the bridge so we can hear. If I move up, no good. If I'm right off the strings, then just open. So just touching the top two strings right on the bridge there, and we're playing eighth notes, so one and two and three and four, and I'm gonna do that for 10 bars for the intro, so. And the second guitar, he's playing the little lead at the start. So we do that for 10 bars, and then our verse, we just go G, normal strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up. F for a bar, same again. C for a bar, G for a bar, and that's our verse, we do that through two times, let's do that up to speed, this one's a little bit harder, it's going quite fast, so starting on the G, F, C, G, G again, F, C, and G. From there we go into our chorus and we do G for a bar, D for a bar this time, C for a bar, and G for a bar. And we do that through two times and that's our chorus, let me play that through once more, you start in the G. So that's our chorus, then we go back to the verse, we do that the same, chorus the same, and then we go back to our palm muting on the G chord and we do it for eight bars this time. So our one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then to finish that off, we go back to the verse, back to the chorus, but this time we play it through four times instead of two times, and then we can just end on the G there. So. So let's do another. Let's try Can't Buy Me Love by the Beatles. This time we're gonna start on the E minor, same strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up, on the E minor for one bar. A minor for one bar. Back to the E minor again, one bar. A minor, one bar. Now we're going to our D minor for one bar. And G for one bar. And that's our intro there. Now again, this is going really fast as well. Starting on our E minor for a bar. A minor. That's our intro, from there we go into our verse, we're going to have C, and we do that for four bars, same strumming pattern. Two, three, four. And then F, two bars. Back to C for two bars. Now this is a tricky part, we're going to go to G for a bar. And then we're going to jump to F, but we're just going to play it and hold for one bar. And we're actually going to stop it. So, two, three, four. So, I'm just putting my hand on the strings to stop it. Now, G for half a bar. So, down, down, up. F for half a bar. Down, down, up. And then C for a bar to finish the verse off. Down, down, up. Up, down, up. So, let me play that through for you. It's a little bit tricky now. We've got that quick change to the F and then G, F, C. Starting on our C for four bars. And 
that's our verse there. We do that through two times, and then we go into our chorus. We're going to start on E minor for a bar. A minor for a bar. C for two bars. E minor for a bar. A minor for a bar. This time D minor for a bar. And G for a bar. And that's our chorus here. Let me play that through for you, starting on the E minor. A minor. C for two bars. That's our chorus from there, we go back to the verse, we just play it through once, but on the last C we do that for two bars instead of once, that last little part of the verse. F and C for two bars. Then from there we're going back to the verse again, this time don't stop on the F, we just keep playing through our normal strumming pattern. So solos playing over that. From there we go back to the chorus and we do that exactly the same. Back to the verse again we do that exactly the same and then to finish off it's nearly the same as the intro there. We've got E minor one bar, A minor for a bar, E minor for a bar, A minor for a bar, D minor for a bar, G for a bar, and C for a bar to finish. So that last little part, let me play that for you, starting on the E minor. A minor, E minor, A minor, D minor, G, and C. So let's try Your So Vain by Carly Simons. We're not going to do the very intro. There is a little bit of guitar, but not long. We're going to start when the verse starts. So we have A minor for two bars. Same strumming pattern as before. F for a bar. Down, down, up, down. A minor for a bar. And we do that through two times. Then we go to the F, now they're jumping a little bit, but we're simplifying. We're just going to do our down, down, G, down, down, E minor, down, down, A minor, down, down, then back to the F for a bar. Then we're just going to play the C and let that hold right through to the chorus there. So it's so three and a half bars here, it's not exact. So let me play that first verse for you, starting on the A minor. our verse from there we go into our chorus and again we stay on the C two bars D minor for a bar and C for a bar A minor for a bar F for a bar and G for a bar Play one more on the G and hold for a bar. Two, three, four. And that's our chorus. Let me do that for you, starting on the C. D minor. C. A minor. F. G. Two, three, four. From there, we just go back to our verse, then our chorus, then our verse. Chorus, verse, chorus. It just keeps repeating those two chord progressions. To finish off, we're just doing the top part of the chorus. C for two bars. D minor for a bar. And C for a bar. And you just keep playing that through to the end of the song. So let's do that quickly. C. 
So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy 50 easy guitar songs. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you soon.